Hey guys, this is the look we're creating today. I was actually online last week looking for like fairy forest vibes and I came across this picture. So I went through my collection today and picked out some palettes to recreate this look. I'm so pleased with the way it turned out. And I just want to say hi, I'm Jana. I am an eyeshadow addict. I love eyeshadow so much. And I hope you guys will subscribe and stick around. We like to have some fun around here. And if you want to see what I use to create this look, let's get started. All right, I'm going to put the picture back up here so we can check it out. I just want like the, I love like the muted orange with the gray and then brown and then just like this, I just like a sparkle. I love to bring like a little bit of the color of the lantern in. So when I was going through my collection, I thought, I mean, we have like this orange and then we have these greens this brown i just think this is going to be really perfect with it i may pull in some other palettes um for the lantern i'm thinking about using this shimmer right here this one is in the mountain trail from sydney grace but again we're just using what we got guys and then um i would like to with like the bright light in the lantern. I'm going to go with a, a white mat and then I'm thinking about using this bubble over the top of it. I just, yeah, that's pretty blinding, isn't it? All right, let's get started guys. All right. So I'm going to start out with this orange right here and I'm thinking about doing, hold on to your pants guys, a cut grease. I'm just going to pat this in right where I want it. Now I'm going to go into ricin. All right, I wiped, I'm going in with the same brush as I did rice in, but I wiped it off and now I'm going to come back into this one. I just want to go right on the edge. Bring those two together. Really, I'm liking this so far. I shouldn't say that. As soon as I do, I mess something up and <laughs> get disappointed. Very nice with my angled brush and I'm going to go into mercury. I was just thinking earlier, I was so happy I had cleaned all of my brushes and then I went to go get my little, my, whatever you call this thing, little cloth. And that was the one thing I forgot to wash. <laughs> so I think after this, it's going to go get a washing. It deserves it. I want to bring in some more of the orange. So I think I'm going to go in with, what is this? Thallium, is that what it is? So apologies, I don't keep up on my poisons. And I'm going to try, I just want to like tap it right out here a little bit. It's a little bit darker than I wanted, but I think it's okay. I'm going to, Go in with the other orange over it in a minute. I just want to bring in a little bit more color right here. Now I'm going back in with the small brush again, and I just want to go over this. Tap over that a little bit. I was so surprised when I opened this palette and saw how well it went with the picture. 
almost like it was made for each other. Something I haven't done in a while. I'm going to just take a little bit of concealer. This feels so wrong and so right all at the same time. Oh, wow. Why did we stop doing this? All right. Uh oh. Is this. Okay. Let's see. Are these even? I just need to bring a little bit more of this color back in. It might not have been even in the first place. So I'm just going to go in. What is this? Sigma, Sigma E41. It's just so thin and narrow. It has like these tapered bristle, bristles, <laughs> bristles at the end. So I'm going to, what was color was this? Yeah, let's, so I just tap the ends to rice and I'm going to let this, I'm going to let that other side dry. Just bring it in right here. I don't know why my dogs keep barking outside today. They keep making me get up and do stuff. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I actually got a lot accomplished today. I'm like so pumped. <laughs> I wish that every day was like this. Okay. I think I'm going to come back in with. I'm coming back in with a little bit more mercury. I just want to tap over the edge of the concealer. Now I think I'm going to go down to the bottom lash line next. So I'm going to go with a tiny, tiny uh, pencil brush and I'm going to go into Mercury. And then back in with this small blending brush with a little arsenic on it. All right, now what I want to do is I want to bring like the lantern color in a little bit. And this looks pretty close to it to me. So I'm going to take this very tiny dome brush. I'm going to spray it. And as we are speaking, I'm trying to decide how I want to do this. I think what I'm going to do, I'm kind of thinking about like taking it up here. Do I want to bring it down here? Oh, no. All right, let's spray. You know what? I think I'm going to just kind of tap it first. Yeah, let's just build this up a little bit first. I think we're going to leave it like this for right now. And then I'm trying to decide if I want to bring some down to the lower lash line. But I think what I'm going to do is um, get the shimmer on and then decide exactly where I want to. All right, so I want to tap it. 
cap. But we are going to move on. This is from Davina and it is called Blow. It looks like it's a very pigmented white mat, which is what I'm looking for. I just want to start tapping right here. And I'm not sure exactly how far because I think I want it to like kind of taper off. So I think I'm just going to start with that much, but I really want it really, really white. I want it so like in that picture, it's almost blinding. Going into the dragon fruit palette from Cleona, and I am going to go in with bubbles. I think I'm going to go in with the, no, you know what? I'm going to tap in with my finger and then I'm going to go in with a brush and spray it. Because I just wanted to kind of, I want it to pop right here in the corner, but then I just kind of want it to lightly fade almost. So it kind of looks in the picture like little twinkles I've now picked it up on this on this brush and I'm going to spray it. Okay, I'm just going to bring it right here on the inner corner and see how that looks to start with. Yeah. Wipe this away a little bit so I can kind of see what's going on a little bit more. Okay. I want to pop back into the mats. I'm going to come back in with Mercury. No, that's not the right brush. All right, and come back into Mercury, and I just want to tap back into this. And then I'm going to run it over the edge of the shimmer just a little bit because I want it to fade a little bit. All right, guys, I am going to go finish my makeup, and then we're going to see how it's looking and see if I want to add anything. All right, guys, this is the finished look. I'm so happy with the way it came out. I'm just, I'm thrilled. Let me tell you what I finished off with. I went in with the Juicy Cheeks palette from Blend Bunny and I went in with the Squeeze. The Spring Magic Blush palette, that was a mouthful. I don't know how many times I just had to repeat that. <laughs> and I went in with Bellfire and it was a little too much guys. It started taking away from the eyeshadow. I was wanting it to kind of mimic the top of the mushroom, but it was just too much. So I just went in with a powder over it and I'm much happier with it because it's all about the eye look. It's all about the eye look. I went in with all three of my new unearthly lip pencils. I was, I got this in the mail the other day from my unearthly order, but I haven't received the rest of it yet. So I went in with khaki and then in the outer corners, I went in with, which one is this one? With cursed. And then for underneath and the Cupid's bow, I went in with Cafe. I really like these so far. Can't wait to get the rest of my order though. I'm ready to play. Then I went in with Lestrange from Necromancy. Topped it with Psych from Unearthly. And for the lower lash line, I went with Apricot from Melt. All right, guys, I, I had so much fun playing today. I really needed it after last week. Last week was too much too much going on the week just flew by and i only got to wear makeup one time so i'm gonna make up for it this week hopefully let's hope <laughs> but i want to thank you guys so much for spending your time with me and i hope you'll like subscribe and then i'll see you next time the spring magic blush the spring magic blush from the spring the spring 
the spring magic blush palette that was a mouthful i don't know how many times i just had to repeat that 